the sound in fact to winning ways. How pleased were you with that performance today? It's, I mean, it's really pleasing. I think, you know, um, we spoke about the process and things that we have to do to put in to win games and, and be competitive and things like that. And, and we did that today, but, you know, uh, the huge, we had a huge impact today. It was clear, you know, from warm up, just when we run out, we're getting clapped. We've got witness fans behind us singing the, the chants and things like that. It just makes a huge difference. And you could feel the buzz about the stadium again. And, and, and that's important because the, the game is nothing without fans. And it certainly helps our performance today. And, and, and it was just, it was really good to be in front of them again. You mentioned the fans though, it's the first time you've experienced them since you came in as head coach. How good was that feeling when you walked out and, and you've seen them in the stands? Massive, massive and you can just feel it. That Even when we're doing good things, you know, the cheer and, and they get behind the lads. And, and like I said, from the warm up, from minute one, they were, they were right behind us. And, and it, I've, I've previously spoke about it. It's important because we want to feel, we want to feel the love from them. We want to feel, the boys want to feel the support and they and they also want to feel the, the groans in that when it's not going our way or when we need to pick up our performance but I thought in terms of our, our effort and what we did off the ball and, and our intent and D was was clear to see it was it was really really good and again it was good last week but we just couldn't replicate that over and over again for different reasons and we did that this week but you know it's a we're 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 in progress here. We're not going to be perfect all the time, but we know what we need to do to be where we want to be as a team, and and we're getting there slowly, and we're going to have ups and downs in that. But it helps when we've got some bodies to to come off the bench and and, and do what they did today. Early on, we we were in control and, and couldn't get over the line. We were pleased with the way that we stuck at it, and then in the second half, we had the chance to pull some big points. Yeah, it was because you know we. We were really good in yardage with our, you know, completion rate. We must have been at high 90s, if not 100% completion, which again is good. We just find a detail in our attack where we we weren't quite getting it right. But that's again, that's finer detail. But it was pleasing that we defended really tough and and not just through the middle. I thought our kick chase, you know, and how how we wanted to defend on the back of our kick was really good, and that lay the platform for the second half. But we've had periods of second halves where we've not been so good and I thought our first 10-15 minutes of the second half was really good which again was important and and that I think our middle set the tone with that we had some big big performances through our middle. How big was it to have the, the lads come back in you, you made three changes and, and you, like you mentioned the bench there you, you were able to utilize a few more forwards this week. It's just for your rotation and things like that and and the people that are on the field can can play a different way because they they know what's coming behind them and and how I can rotate the bench and things like that, but I, you know, I thought obviously that worked well. You know, I thought our bench were great, but our our starting middles laid the platform and the bench come on and and up the ante, which that's what you want from your bench. And then the second half they took us to the level we needed to, and then the bench that started the game come and took over from them. So it helps. It helps rotating our forwards around because they need energy, but they also need to put in the performance. On, when they're on the field and today they did that I thought they were terrific Are you pleased with the fact that we only conceded the one try as well? Yeah I am and I, you know well I'm not because I thought we, we could have kept them to nil but I thought our intent particularly in the second half of how we how we defended their yard which was really impressive and uh, you normally your middle set that but I thought our outside backs how they chased kicks and Jake's betting and you know they, how they got off the line and wanted to whack people was set the tone back to our middles again so yeah it was a it was a pleasing day for a number of different reasons but it's only today and then like you know we'll enjoy it tonight we'll we'll go home and, and be pleased with ourselves but tomorrow that means nothing because we've got to replicate that next week you touched on it but is this a chance now for you to build on this and and, and take that momentum into the Oldham game next week it is and and again we're we're, we're a team in, in progress we're, we're you know we're not going to be perfect all the time and, and we know when we're getting things wrong, where we're getting them wrong and, and what we need to do to fix it and, and how to fix it to be the team we want to be. So, you know, it's not going to be perfect all the time, but we also understand that we've got to put this in all the time to, to be competitive and to win games. So, like I say, we'll, you know, it's pleasing we won today and it's certainly pleasing that we can perform like that in front of our fans, you know, the first time they're back here. But that means nothing now come Monday because... It's a different challenge. We've got to replicate it and go again, which you know I'm I'm very confident we will. But again, we, we'll, we'll start the week as we do next week.